What up, y'all? Appreciate you coming through, showing up. This is my dumb ass. Like and subscribe. Uh, so yeah, uh, Sony just had their state of play. To, I, I, I think I realized why they scheduled it before everything else during this. Uh, I guess E3, E3. It's no E3, but whatever the E3 time, right? And uh, it's before Microsoft, it's before Keeley. It has the Summer Game Fest badging on it. So I guess they paid Keeley to put that on there, right? So they want to be part of something. Uh, wow. Okay, it, uh, it's a giant L. There's a few little glimple, glimples, that's a word. There's a few of those in there. But they're not like, there's no megatons in there. A lot of giant L's just happened just happened this happened about an hour ago or so whatever and i watched it I, I wanted to just watch it i watched it the regular playstation version which is this right here i'll, I'll start playing it and um i was like wow okay and we're gonna we're gonna skim through this we're not gonna watch this straight through it's not gonna be any sound uh because of reasons so the first game is resident evil 4 remake sure Okay, maybe that'll be good. Who knows? Moving on. Resident Evil 7. Village. In, that's 8, right? In VR, yeah, 8. In VR, right? So they had a whole bunch of VR games. So Resident Evil in VR, okay. PSVR 2, PSVR 2, PSVR 2, right? This game, I don't know, know what, I don't remember what the name of this game is. I was like, this is hot trash. This game looks so bad. It makes State of Decay look beautiful. I was like, yo, why the, gra why the zombies look all, why the textures all cartoony and something? What, the, what is this? Oh, it's an art style decision. That's what it is. That's what, nah, no, you got cartoony zombies. Come on, son. That's something that the world didn't need. Anyway, uh, keep it moving. Cause this was dumb. What was, I want to know what it's called. It's like, Retribution, retribution, retribution. I, I was gonna say that. Oh, it's Walking Dead uh, expansion. Whatever. Don't care. Another PSVR two thing. No Man's Sky in VR should have been on the first VR. Honestly, No Man's Sky is twenty five years old. I don't know why it's not on. Anyway, keep it moving. Uh, I mean, how many L's do we have so far? Okay, so this is Horizon Call of the Mountain VR. None of this VR stuff is hitting quite how they think. I think that I think they think that it's hitting way better than I think that it's not. <laughs> Does that make any sense? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, no, this is uh and and another thing that I would uh hope that people realize that this this footage is uh it seems like it's it doesn't seem like it's being played if that makes any sense i mean it, it probably is but it seems like it, it doesn't seem as shaky as normal vr games is that something with the playstation vr 2 that it's not as shaky as the previous possibly but i mean you still see a little bit of vr jank in there you know blah 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 but um i think they smoothed a lot of that stuff out because remember the first, the first trailer was whoa. Anyway, moving on. So this is dumb. This is another dumb thing. They make a big deal about Horizon Forbidden West update. Look at this major update. Improve uh, performance mode. Improve visual fidelity. Wow. Transmog switch alpha. Wow. Reset skills. Wow. Ultra hard difficulty. Wow. What else? New game plus. Replay. Wow. Including new weapons and trophies. Wow. Wow. Come on, son. That's not, they could have put that in a blog post. They didn't have to have a trailer for that. Get out of here. Okay, this is the most hilarious thing. This is why they bought Nixies. This is why they bought Fire Sprite. Fire Sprite did Horizon. Called Mountain. Spider-Man's on PC. Man the ponies, man the ponies, they're hating life right now. They're like, oh my gosh. They're never, they're never going to PC. Everything they say never about 
It's happening. I, they, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you, dude. We don't even have to watch this. It's like, this is going to be the best version of Spider-Man. Period. So, whatever. Uh, there goes the dreams of many. Okay, here's a cat game called Stray. This is probably one of the, the shining moments of this whole thing. Because <clears throat> everything else is like, eh, whatever. And then still, it's like, okay, this is a cool little indie game. Because that's what it is. And guess what? We go to the end. Okay, well, first off, I want to say I wanted to say that last shot that they show over here, not gameplay. I'm like, why can't that be gameplay? Why can't that be in game gameplay? What? Why is it? It's not actual gameplay. <laughs> I guess a PS5 can't handle it. Anyway, Stray is going to be free on PlayStation Plus. How about that? The two top tiers, though. See, they get you. <laughs> Excuse me. They got to upsell you. I'm just choking. I'm not. I'm not uh, sick or nothing. <clears throat> so yeah, that's hilarious. That's there's your day and date right there. Stray's day and date. Uh oh. Y'all said no day and date. They doing it. All right. So next game, Callista Protocol, multi plat. Nobody cares. So that doesn't matter. All right. Next game is this goofy shell cell shaded sh shoot them. Somebody in in in, <laughs> in one of the chats called it. Um, John to death too. <laughs> I was like, that's pretty funny. What's it called? Roller Dome? Roller Drome? Yeah, no, nobody cares. And then this one, this game is 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 using PlayStation 4 footage. And I'm like, wait, wh why? Why? Why is this? It's, it's coming out, watch. It's going to smack you in the face like, plap, plap. Or they already showed it. Did they already show it? No. Captured on PlayStation. Why? Uh, you have a PlayStation 5 that's been out almost two years. Why are you showing us PlayStation 4 games right now? It's cross-gen, but does it not work on the PlayStation 5? What? Is, you see, I'm skip. We're skipping. We're going past this. We don't even get ever nights. Eternal nights. Eternal nights. Eternal nights. Etern whatever it's called. I don't know. Okay, this is the, the only. This is probably the most shining part of this whole thing. Street Fighter 6. The only thing about this is that the fighting looks cool. It was right here. Where is it? Is it here? Yeah, the fighting looks cool, right? But the fighting in the last game looked cool too. It's about the systems. It's about many other things in fighting games. So that's one thing. Second thing, this is going to be multi-plat because Capcom learned their lesson last generation. It may be, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's an exclusive for a month or something, but you know, they can't lose their shirt on another Street Fighter like that, like they did before. Street Fighter is too big of a game to fail because it's only on one platform. So it's definitely going to be on PC, definitely going to be PlayStation. I predict it'll be on Xbox as well. Now, this right here kind of leads me to believe that it says, what does that say? What does that say right there? Online multiplayer requires that, 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 PlayStation Plus membership, blah, blah, blah. So here's the thing. I think this game Street Fighter 6 is one of those, what, 10 games they said are going to be live service games? So this game and um, what was it before? There was another game uh, earlier in the show. I think the last game is Final Fantasy. Uh, oh, Tunic's coming in September or something. Whoopi. And this goofy game, Seasons of Bada Bada, I was like, yo, this nope. L, nope. Seasons of the Baclacky Letter of the Future. I was like, okay, that's dumb. And then Final Fantasy. Uh, 16? Is that what they're on now? And I'm looking at it, I was like, okay, it's it's like old school fun. It's no future, there's no flying cars or nothing in this, no spaceships. I'm like, okay, sure. And that's it. That was the whole thing. I was like, that's kind of, that's kind of trash. Right? I'm just, I mean, State of plays aren't usually like, oh, that's the best. But I was like, mm, no, mm -mm. I wasn't, I wasn't feeling, I was feel, like I said, I mean, I don't generally feel Final Fantasy. I mean, I think Final Fantasy 7 is blowing up and it's good because they did a good job with it. And this game is just, the Final Fantasy series has become a copy and paste in the engine. And they're just, you know, different stories and stuff, but they're not doing anything too much new. This, this, I think, harkens back to the earlier Final Fantasy games, which is cool, but, uh, may not care. 
So let me let me go back to the beginning again. Um, so Resident Evil Four, that's not gonna be. And then they had uh, all the VR games, blah 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 blah. And they had No Man's Sky and what else? And then they went to Spider Man and then Street. So yeah, so Street Fighter was the only one that's gonna be a service game in this presentation. I don't. I don't. I mean, I said it before. Sony is not the same Sony that they were. PlayStation Four generation. It seems like they're doing all the same moves that they were doing in a PlayStation Four generation, except their attitude towards business has changed, which is bad for PlayStation Pony Doc Unicorn people who swear that PlayStation is the best because they sell more consoles. Well, guess what? They keep doing things in their business to counteract that selling the most consoles. Because putting Spider-Man on PC, people are like, oh, it's four years after release. No, this is the remastered version that they released with Miles Morales, which is under two years, it's a year and a half. Because it came out, I believe it came out at the same time that Miles Morales did, which was around launch or at launch of the PlayStation 5. So, less than two years, Spider-Man remastered on PC. <sighs> and the cap begins. They say, oh, it's four years, four years. Sony fanboys, it's not, so whatever. You know, and, I mean, God of War is already on PC, right? Yeah. Uh, what was the other one? Um, Death Stranding, PC. If Spider-Man remasters on PC, that's the sacred game right there. Last of Us, Last of Us on PC? Last of Us 2? Probably not. I mean, that's coming, obviously. And also, Spider-Man 2 is going to be on there. Wolverine, all their games are going to PC. Why buy a PlayStation 5 at this point? It's just, it's the same argument that they said about Xbox. Why buy Xbox? I'm just going to play those games on PC. Same argument, PlayStation 5 is dead. Just saying, that's all. Um, but yeah, I like, uh, I think, I th we'll leave it. I would like to thank everyone involved and give, give me a, give me a, give, there's the, there's a good shot of something. I want to thank y'all for showing up, liking and subscribing, popping in the comments. This thing was, this thing was ridiculous. Uh, I mean, not the cat. The cat was, the cat was okay. The cat was probably the best thing in the show. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, as, as good as Street Fighter 6 looked, I was like, okay, that looks cool. Resident Evil don't care. Uh, Stray seems the most interesting prospect in this show. Dark times for Sony. I don't say, where's the, where is the, oh snap. And guess what? No God of War, Ragnarok. So let's predict, that's not coming out this year. It's June 2nd. They didn't say nothing about Ragnarok. And people say, oh, reports say that it's going to... No, it's not coming. If they're not talking about it now, when are they going to talk about it? They're going to wait until all of everybody, Microsoft and everybody else has done Microsoft, Activision... Oh, not Microsoft. Microsoft, Bethesda, all the PC stuff, Keely, Keely Fest, e Key 3 as they're calling it now. When that's over, then they're going to be, oh, one more thing. Sony has an announcement. God of War Ragnarok coming out in a week. Oh, and shut everybody down. I don't think so. I don't think I don't think they would risk. Well, you know what? Maybe they're trying to save their big guns for later. Maybe they're trying to see, oh, is you know what Xbox and Bethesda and Keely gonna show? It's gonna be super dope fly. Or did they pay Keely to put God of War to kind of put it in his showcase and showcase the game for an hour or something like that, or half an hour or something? That would give him more uh I guess eyes or something, or more uh, cre credence? No, that's not the word. Get more props. Hey, maybe, maybe. Um, maybe that's why this presentation was kind of whack. Because Keely, you know, kind of scooped up all the good stuff for his show. Who knows? All I know is that the Microsoft presentation, Microsoft slash Bethesda presentation, is going to destroy this. It's going to stomp it in the face and be like, yep, that's, that's how we do because everything's delayed, everything's blah, blah, blah. They have so many studios working on so many games. It's like, oh, it's like, oh my God. It's like 
you know there's gonna be something good. There's probably some stuff that's like, eh, I don't know about that right there. But there's so many unknowns that have the potential to be like booga bam, right? I mean, we've seen Sony have, Sony have shown their hand in a way. They probably didn't show everything, like I said, but they showed a good amount. And a lot of it is just download content, remasters, VR, PSVR 2, which is basically remasters, you know. It wasn't interesting. Like I said, the only thing interesting was Kitty Cat and Street Fighter 6. That's it. Everything else was like, ah, whatever. Anyway, like, subscribe, appreciate, appreciate, watch the videos and stuff. I preach. Hit me up in the comments. Y'all want to talk about something? It's all good in the hood because, like I said, I read all the comments and I appreciate every single one of y'all. Zip zap, zippity plap.